with my good friend Art. We're along the Yellowstone River near Billings, Montana. And he is showing me, and it has been long awaited, but if you've watched my other videos about the Yellowstone River, most of the rocks are round and whatever normal shapes river rocks have. But in this area, they're all flat. And some of them are quite large. Okay, and supposedly what happens is the current is just so that it armors the softer sediments underneath. They, it, it's just at the right speed and the right conditions that only the flat rocks or mostly flat rocks settle out. And of course these have been walked on for a long time so they're kind of mixed up but it's amazing what a high percentage of the rocks are flat yeah look at these this is so cool they're all flat they're dirty here yeah they've been they've been under the water and haven't been cleaned off and i intend on making a display with the rocks maybe i'll do it and add it to this video <laughs> now that i'm thinking of it I quickly put together this kind of an example of how these rocks are laid down. If you can imagine the water coming from that direction flowing this way, the rocks tend to, and I use the word tend because they're not always perfectly laid like this. Um, but when I was probably 15 years old, I came across a section of riverbed that was similar to what we're seeing in today's video, but it had not been disturbed yet. And the rocks were very perfectly laid. So much so that I thought uh, somebody did it on purpose. So the flat surface kind of faces upstream slightly. And I think they just come in and kind of start maybe at this end and start stacking up. Anything round, the current's strong enough and it just rolls away. So. Uh, very fascinating, and again, uh, I think I've said this already, but the rock variety has nothing to do with the flatness. I mean, here we have pudding stones, we've got granites, we've got uh, porphyries, pretty much any kind of rock you find in the Yellowstone, but here they're flat. Very unique deposit that we're seeing today. I've only seen it twice in my life. Um, Again, it was that time when I was probably 15 years old and, and now what we're seeing with my friend Art.